this video I'm going to be changing the upper control arms and lower ball joints in this Nissan Xterra. Before we get started, there might be a few tools you'll need uh, that you might not already have. I'll show those to you now. So firstly, you might want to track down a big 1 and 7 8 of an inch wrench or socket um, to take off that lower nut that holds on the, or the, the nut that holds on the lower ball joint. Um, and that's probably something I, I didn't have one, so I had to go out and track one down. So um, I've heard some people can't do it with like a crescent wrench, but if you're like me and everything's all rusty on your car, odds are this would be a better choice than uh, stripping it off, stripping it out, and having a harder time with it. Next, um, now this probably a lot of people do have these, but just some snap ring pliers to get the. Uh, snap ring out so you can take the uh, the CV out of the hub because there's a snap ring that holds it in there. Um, so some snap ring pliers would uh, make that a lot easier. And lastly, again this is a situation if your car is rusty like mine, um, the can bolts for, for my car were completely seized in the bushing so I ended up having to find uh, new can bolts and cut the old ones out using a saw like this. Um, so, you know, if your car's rusty like mine again, definitely gonna wanna get a saw. So let's start by getting this hub off here. These are six millimeter, six millimeter Allens. those out you just pop this off that's what your CV locks into to uh, turn the wheels try to be gentle don't know where you would track down another one of these if you were to break it Side of it that you're gonna want to leave on there. Keep that stuff all together, obviously, so you don't lose anything. And uh, that's all you gotta do now. This this will slide out of here when we take off the bolts in the back. Okay, next I'm just gonna take off these six bolts that hold the CV axle onto the differential. millimeter uh, bolt holding down this ABS sensor and uh, we'll just take that out and pop that sensor out of here. It's not a bad idea to go through and uh, spray some penetrating oil on some of this stuff in advance, uh, in advance just to make sure everything can come out. Give it its best shot at coming out anyway. You want to be gentle with this sensor because it's just uh, plastic, so you could you could break it. So I might get a screwdriver and just try to work it up around the edges, like maybe just slowly try to pop it out of there without breaking it. Next, I'm just going to take this brake caliper and hang it up out of the way because this whole Steering knuckle's got to come off basically, so you know everything attached to it has to come off as well. So that's as simple enough. So. You don't want to leave 
that guy leave hanging by the hose? So, is it tied up or something? Alright, moving on. Start to take off this steering tie rod. I guess we'll work on taking this upper ball joint loose first, see if we can get this out. Although, on this one, if you can't get this out, it'd be pretty easy just to spin it with that in there, because you're going to replace it anyway. Okay, now that we got the upper ball joint loose, I think I gotta take the shock off to make it a little bit easier to get it the get the CV out and out of the way. So let's see here. 17 millimeter on the bottom one. Okay, here comes the fun part. I'm going to cut the cam bolts out of this upper control arm here, and then cut through over here, and then the same thing on this other side. Alrighty, usually go through about two blades because these bolts are pretty hard metal. Uh, there you go. The bolt just gets stuck right in that bushing. So you can hammer on that all day and more than likely this is rusty like this one. It's probably not coming off so just spend your money to get some new cam bolts and go straight for the saw. Save a lot of time. Here's the new cam bolt. $45 for a set of these. What can you do? So, simply bolt this new control arm on there and the upper part will be done. original ones the cam bolts pushed in from the inside out so that's how I'll put them back on Now, before I tighten these guys down, I'm going to tighten it down with the control arm up 
a little bit about where it would be at right height. Um, with all the up and down movement he gets in the in flexing that rubber so you don't want it like way up here and tighten it down or down here you want it like right about right height. And also I'm gonna look for the old marks of where the old cam washers were um, and try to tighten them tighten the tighten these down and the orientation of the old ones just to get it close so you can drive it to the alignment shop and not wear out your tires on the way there uh, you could see where the old cam bolt used to be sitting what orientation so I just put them back like that to get it somewhat close you know now we'll get started on that guy That holds for grease. It wants you to mount it in board. So you can uh, get your grease gun on it still.
back on is this hub and the stuff inside that we took off. So we put this little deal back on and then get the snap ring out. are good. I'm put the hub back on. Just like that. I'll wire the uh, bolts back in for there. So there's where the grease fitting goes on the bottom of the control arm is where we're looking. And it's not possible to actually grease that with the fitting that comes with in the box. So I had to get some of these 45 degree angle, but they don't actually, nothing actually fits in there but that grease fitting. So I was able to get this in there a couple of turns to be able to just grease it. And then I put that one back in because it actually tightens up in there. So that's a little bit of a problem, but 
whatever, I guess that's the way it is. But <clears throat> so last thing I gotta do before I'm done, put the wheels back on, is clean. You can see how much grease I got on the disc. So I'm just gonna brake clean that off, put the caliper back on, and then I can put the wheels back on and everything's all good. Just make sure everything's tight and you put those uh, safety pins and all the castle nuts and uh, should be good to go.